So living with type 2 diabetes means paying close attention to what you put into your body. A lot of people automatically think carbs, sugar, protein, and while those are obviously very important, people often overlook other factors, including vitamins and minerals. And today I want to talk about one specific mineral that often gets overlooked but plays such a crucial role in the management of type 2 diabetes and overall blood sugar control. But before we start, you know the drill. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Give this video a thumbs up and click the notification button to keep up to date with the latest videos from our channel. All right, guys, I'm Diana. I'm a registered dietitian and my master's in nutrition science. And today I want to talk about this one mineral magnesium. Today I'm going to talk about what this mineral is, what role it plays in our body, and why it's so, so important when managing type 2 diabetes. So let's start with what is magnesium and why do we need it? Magnesium is an essential mineral that our body needs. Basically, without it, we would not be able to survive. So we must get it from our food. Magnesium helps over 300 different processes in our body run smoothly. It helps with blood sugar control. We'll get into this later. It helps our muscles and nerves run smoothly. It supports healthy blood pressure, keeps your heart beating steadily, helps make your bones strong, and helps support better sleep. The amount of magnesium we need on a daily basis depends on our age and our gender. But generally speaking, most adults need between 310 to 420 milligrams per day. The good news is that many foods are rich in magnesium. Good sources of magnesium include dark leafy greens like spinach and kale, nuts and seeds, especially pumpkin seeds and almonds, whole grains like brown rice and quinoa, black beans and other legumes, avocados, and dark chocolate in moderation, of course. So this is a type 2 diabetes focused channel. So let's talk about magnesium's role in blood sugar control specifically. So when it comes to diabetes, magnesium plays a lot of different roles in how our body handles blood sugar. So let's get into each one. Number one, it helps insulin reception. So magnesium kind of acts like a doorman for your cells. It helps insulin receptors, these little proteins on the surface of your cells, work properly. When our magnesium levels are adequate, these receptors are better at recognizing insulin. Without enough magnesium in our body, these receptors don't work as well recognizing insulin, and therefore insulin can't do as good of a job. And insulin's main job is to open up those channels which allow glucose, blood sugar, to get out of your blood and into those cells. Number two, magnesium helps support insulin release. Magnesium helps your pancreas release the right amount of insulin when your blood sugar levels are low. Think of it as a sensor system. When magnesium levels are low, the pancreas might not release insulin as effectively. Number three, it helps move sugar or glucose into cells. So once insulin has been recognized by the cells, then magnesium helps to activate our glucose transporters within the cell. These transporters are like tiny little elevators that move sugar or glucose from your blood into your cells. Without enough magnesium, fewer of these little elevators get activating, meaning less sugar leaves your bloodstream. And number four, magnesium helps to convert sugar into energy inside our cells. It's involved in over 300 enzyme reactions, including many that break down sugar into energy that your body can use. This is why having enough magnesium is so, so important, especially if you have type two diabetes, because if you have low levels of magnesium, each step of these processes works less efficiently, which in turn just makes it even harder to keep your blood sugar levels in check. Okay, let's talk about magnesium deficiency and its relationship with type 2 diabetes. So many people with type 2 diabetes tend to have lower magnesium levels, which is a problem because like I just mentioned, it can make it's so much harder to control your blood sugar levels. It's actually kind of like a cycle because having diabetes can make you lose more magnesium through your urine and having lower magnesium levels can make it harder to manage diabetes. In fact, research has actually shown that 25 to 38% of people with type 2 diabetes have low magnesium levels. And studies have found that people with the lowest levels of magnesium have the highest risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And for every 100 milligram increase in daily magnesium intake actually decreased type 2 diabetes risk by 15%. Now that's a pretty significant benefit from a pretty simple change in your diet. So now let's talk about how adding more magnesium to your diet can help you, especially if you have type 2 diabetes. There's actually been quite a few different studies looking at magnesium and how it can help people with type 2 diabetes. So I want to go over some of these findings. In one review of over 25 different studies, the researchers found that 
people with type 2 diabetes who supplemented daily for about 24 weeks saw significant improvements in their blood sugar. And it included both their fasting blood sugar and their blood sugar after meals, post-meal blood sugar. Another study that followed over 127,000 people who consumed a lot of magnesium through both food and supplement had about a 15% decreased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Another study that included about 4,000 people between the ages of 18 and 30 found that those who consumed more magnesium had less insulin resistance when they were checked 20 years later. Research has also shown that taking magnesium supplements for over four months can help improve insulin sensitivity and blood sugar control. Newer studies suggest that magnesium might also reduce chronic inflammation in the body, which is often higher in people with type 2 diabetes. Less inflammation can mean better blood sugar control. And another important topic I want to talk about is how magnesium can also help improve complications that often arise from diabetes. Research has specifically shown connections between magnesium levels and better heart health. So proper magnesium levels were associated with less cardiovascular disease in people with type 2 diabetes. Also lower risk of diabetic neuropathy. Lower magnesium levels are linked to a higher risk of nerve damage in people with type 2 diabetes. And lastly, improved eye health. Maintaining adequate magnesium levels has been shown to help protect against diabetic retinopathy. Okay, so who could benefit from extra magnesium? You might benefit from magnesium supplements if you have trouble controlling your blood sugar levels. Your doctor has found that you have of low magnesium levels. You take medications that can lower your magnesium levels. You don't eat enough magnesium rich foods. However, remember that not everyone needs to supplement. If you eat plenty of magnesium rich foods and you get enough magnesium through your diet, there is likely not a need for supplementation. And like any supplement, magnesium can also have side effects, especially if you take too much. The most common side effects are upset stomach, diarrhea, and nausea. Most people can take magnesium supplements safely. However, you should be careful if you do have kidney problems as your kidneys do help control magnesium levels in the body. As always, it's best to talk to a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement. Now, lastly, I wanna talk about choosing the right supplement if you do wanna take a magnesium supplement. So when you're looking for a magnesium supplement, the type of magnesium really does matter. Magnesium glycinate is one of the better forms to take because your body can absorb it well and it's less likely to cause stomach issues. Here at Type 2 Diabetes Revolution, we do recommend Jade Magnesium Glycinate because it really does meet all the criteria when looking for the right supplement. It's highly absorbable. It's gentle on the stomach. It's made in FDA registered facilities. It's third party tested to make sure it's pure and it has the exact dosage that you need and it's non-GMO and gluten-free. Most studies show benefits when people take between 250 to 600 milligrams of magnesium per day. But remember, not all of this needs to come from supplementation. Some of this can and should come from food. If you wanna learn more about Jade Magnesium, we'll link it below. To wrap it up, managing type 2 diabetes means looking at your overall health and not just focusing so much on specific macronutrients. Paying attention to other important nutrients like vitamins and minerals, especially magnesium, can really make a difference in how you feel and your ability to control your blood sugar levels. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel so that you never miss an episode. We'll see you in the next one.